Today, scatter system using Arduino can be applied in many small scale control and monitoring systems in different application areas. There exist a number of ways to implement Arduino SCADA. Modbus TCP IP communication protocol may be a way to implement this type of Arduino SCADA based control system. Today, this video will introduce a liquid temperature control system using Arduino with WinCC SCADA interface and Modbus TCP IP has been used as communication protocol for interfacing Arduino to SCADA host. Now we can proceed to implement this project step by step from which you can learn about how we can apply Modbus communication protocol to Arduino to build Arduino based SCADA system. Let's take a look at the schematic diagram for this project. In this project, the temperature of liquid will be maintained within a range from 40 degrees centigrade to around 47 degrees centigrade by turning on and off a heating element. A filter module has been used as a heating element and attached to the bottom of a pot which contains the liquid. When the temperature of liquid falls below 40 degrees centigrade, the filter module will be turned on by the digital output of the Arduino and when temperature rises above around 47 degree, the filter module will be turned off. This procedure will continue until a stop command comes from the SCADA interface. The temperature sensor LM35 has been used to sense the temperature of liquid and additional temperature indicator also used to monitor liquid temperature locally. To perform temperature control operation by Arduino, a suitable mode bus case has been uploaded to Arduino Uno microcontroller. To operate and monitor this control operation, a SCADA interface has been created using WinCC SCADA software. There are two variants of Modbus protocol to establish communication for Arduino with the SCADA interface. They are Modbus RTU protocol for serial network and Modbus TCP IP protocol for Ethernet network. In this project, Arduino uses Modbus TCP IP protocol to communicate with the SCADA interface. To establish this Modbus TCP IP communication for Arduino, a Ethernet shield has been plugged into the Arduino Uno microcontroller and a Ethernet cable has been used to connect Arduino with the computer. As Arduino works on Modbus protocol for transmitting input-output data to SCADA interface, you have to upload Modbus library to Arduino board, which will make Arduino communicate with SCADA interface over Modbus protocol. Let's move to coding for Arduino. If we look at the data exchange mechanism between Arduino and SCADA interface, you will see that Modbus TCP IP has been used for data communication protocol. In Modbus TCP IP, data sharing between Arduino and SCADA client takes place on client server model. So we will be setting Arduino as server, sometimes referred to as slab, and SCADA host as client, sometimes referred to as master. Modbus TCP IP protocol uses a standard form of data, which is referred to as application protocol, and this data transmission takes place on Ethernet physical network. Make sure that you use Ethernet crossover cable when you make physical connection for Arduino with the PC. Now the first thing what we have to do is to include two libraries into Arduino IDE. Go to SKS from the menu bar, from drop down list select Include library and click on Add chip library. From this dialog box browse your desired library file which is located in desktop. There exist two library files in zip format in this folder. Now you can add these two libraries into Arduino ID from this dialog box. These two libraries already included in my Arduino ID. So I skip this procedure at this moment. These two libraries you can get from my video description box. If we proceed to look at the coding for Arduino, we will see that the coding has been started with a number of libraries header file. The first two libraries enable Arduino to work with the Ethernet shell through which Arduino establishes physical network with SCADA host. The rest two other libraries implement Modbus protocol in Arduino input output data transmission mechanism. 
next five lines of coding defines network configuration settings for Ethernet network. In configuration settings, MAC address and IP address must be assigned to Ethernet shield. The rest of the settings you can keep optional. The wire setup function of this Arduino program initializes Ethernet library with network configuration settings and Arduino start to communicate physically with the PC. As well as physical network established, Modbus TCP server also initiated and becomes ready to connect with any SCADA program as a client. In Modbus communication protocol, the data transfer functions offer some memory registers to configure, monitor and control Arduino input-output devices from SCADA interface. Modbus devices usually have a register map to store data. The Modbus data model has four basic data types, discrete inputs, coils, input registers and holding registers. In Arduino program, I have created holding registers for storing temperature sensor value and coil registers for storing digital output data. Finally, take a look at the statements of the white loop function where actual operational functionality of the Arduino takes place. This function executes data transmission to SCADA client for monitoring and controlling real-time temperature control operation from SCADA. The white loop function includes another function, update control, which is responsible for desired temperature control operation. This function uses on holding register address to transfer temperature sensor data and two coil register addresses to perform read write operation for Arduino digital output. Now to create PC based visualization for monitoring and controlling liquid temperature control system, a SCADA project has been created using WinCC SCADA which is integrated in TI portal software. WinCC SCADA supports interfacing Modbus TCP IP data from any Modbus device. Already a complete SCADA project has been created using TIA portal software which now I am going to open and give you a brief overview on this project. The project is open now. If we look at the data interfacing technique from Arduino to UNCC SCADA, we will see that UNCC SCADA project uses some variables through which UNCC SCADA gets the Arduino input output value. In UNCC SCADA environment, these variables are called tags. Now for data transmission from Arduino to UNCC SCADA through these tags, UNCC project need to create connection which will make Modbus TCP IP communication settings for WinCC project. So you have to take two steps for overall communication settings in this SCADA project. One is creating and configuring a connection and the other is creating and configuring a number of tags. From the navigation menu on the left side, double click on connection. On the right side, you will see that a connection for Arduino Uno has been already created with required configuration. Here the configuration for connection have been made on some settings. First one is to select communication driver, which is Modbus TCP IP. In the bottom, to make settings for connection parameters, you have to fill up field for CPU type, IP address for Arduino controller and the port address. The IP address and port address you have to provide here depending on network configuration settings for Arduino, which we provided in the Arduino is case. Now look for the created tags and its configuration settings. To get this created tag, double click on show all tags under SMI tag. A number of created tags have been appeared on the right side. If we go for tag configuration, one important settings we have to make is to set address for these tags. When data communication between Arduino and SCADA takes place over Modbus, Modbus addresses are used as source for Arduino input output data which have been created in Arduino's case. 
the SCADA project get the required data from this Modbus addresses using this text. So you have to show this Modbus addresses when you create and configure text. The addresses for first two tag is coil register for handling digital input output data and the address for next tag is holding register which contains the temperature data. Now go for user interface that have been created to visualize the temperature control system. Some functional graphical objects have been created in this user interface through which we can start or stop the system, monitor real-time operational status and liquid temperature value. To make these objects functionable, the created tags have been assigned or linked to these functional objects. When you finished creating your user interface with required graphical objects and connect these objects with the tags, then it will be ready to run the user interface. In this video, I have tried to make you understand configuration technique for OCC SCADA project. If you need step by step procedure for creating the SCADA project, you will get another video in my video description box. Now it's the time to run this SCADA project. When this SCADA project will be running on the PC, you will observe a real time operational process for temperature control from this SCADA interface. When you will finish to watch this video, I hope. This video will help you to understand what is Modbus TCP IP protocol, how this communication protocol works and how it can be applied to Arduino Uno microcontroller to build a Arduino based SCADA system. If you find this video helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel.